Bim, guess what? We're back. We're retro gaming. It's retro gaming. Retro gaming club. And we're on the PlayStation, and we're going to play a game called Hugo. In fact, we're not going to play one game. We're going to play three games. Uh, we're going to play a Hugo game, a Hugo game, and a Hugo game. And then we're going to decide which of the Hugo games is the best Hugo game that we've played in the Hugo Game Retro Gaming Club Retro. So, hopefully we're not lagging this time. We're on green, which is always good. Green is good. So the first game we're gonna play is gonna be Hugo, the quest for the Sunstones, which if you think about it, is an obvious place to start because it's different from maybe a previous incarnation that only a couple of people have seen. It's got a nice disc on it as well. That's a purdy disc, isn't it? A purdy disc. So, it's working now, yes. Uh, H.J. Copeland, 31. Loved you when you were in the police. Um, mint disc as well. I mean, well, I'll show you in that one, actually. Look at that disc. That disc is minter than a mint thing in a mint land on mint day. That is mint. So, let's pop it open. Stick it in. Slam it down and turn it on. It reminds me of something else, but I can't remember what it is. It's been that long. So, let's do... Oh, I hate it when it does that. I really hate it when it does that. There we go. So we've got the lovely PlayStation logo. We love the PlayStation logo. Hello, Biohazard Killer 66 Gaming. I don't know, even though I'm related to him, you know. <laughs> you go, I go, he go. Well, hey, go. Please select your language. We'll go for the Anglai. Oops, just realised I'm damaging the stock here. This is a pretty story, isn't it? This is lovely, isn't it? Pardon me. Has he got one eye shut? Oh, it's light. Because hmm. we all know crocodiles sleep in a bed and have hair. Sorry, I didn't know you wanted to be numbing in this. Gotta keep the FBI up by a second. We've already troll live. Nice. Oh, it's just keep keep all different parts separate, compartmentalized. I'm bored of this now. Sorry, I got bored of that. That was just too slow. Start a new game. Two can play at that game. Why does a two can need to fly in an aeroplane? Why has a troll got an aeroplane? Alright, so we're going from Northern Europe in a biplane to America. 
then to South America, then to a small island in the middle of nowhere that no one knows about. It's not even Hawaii, this. In a biplane! You can see why they took him to the lift. See what we did there. I did all the plane is by. <laughs> oh, we're off. Oh, okay. We're can we not use the analog? Yeah, we can use the analog. Okay. So it's basically a Crash Bandicoot clone. Without the cuteness of the bandicoot. Or the control method. It's pretty cruel actually said it's a crushed bandicoot clone, it might not be. Seriously? Well, I'm intrigued so far as to why this game got four sequels. Who are you? What are you doing there? Why can't I get to you? Jump, but we can't jump over a small hill. No timer is there, no, I can't see a timer. Is that someone else there as well? There it is, okay. Wow, this is painful. Just hope that the other games got better. Wiggle our whip in the air, which is always good. Oh, was he? I don't remember him being. I don't remember him being anything. To be fair, but mind you, I have no memory of why I fatigued last night. So it's unlikely I'm going to remember something from Breakfast Deli. Very mind, I don't even watch Breakfast Deli. Crouch then, do we? Let's crouch. Oh, there you go. Off, we've been left behind. The level, new level code X square triangle XX L2. No, it hasn't got that in. Uh, circle square square circle. All oh, right, when the viewer formed in and controlled the character, yeah, that, that could be. Uh, that could have been a thing, actually, yeah. That's before you had uh, digital TV with a lag, which doesn't work well. Hugo came out of the Amiga in 1991.
Yeah, it says ITE Media Apps, uh, copyright 1990 to 2000. So this was obviously a later version of Hugo. Okay. United Kingdom in the UK, Hugo was played. What's up, Doc? And the Shiny Show reaching 238 ratings and the latter. So it's Danish in its origin and appeared on TV in numerous countries apparently. Alright, okay. Go away, leave me alone. Whoa. Right, okay, so I can't. What? Oh, I forgot about me, wait. Yeah, I can kill the the nasty plants. They can kill me more though. Energy. Whoa! Whoa! Right, normally I'm like, I only play one thing, but I just want to see that's what that scroll is, so. Ooh. That's the noise I'll make when I die as well. I'll go. Instead of going, eh, like normal people do, I'll go. It's cooler, I'll be honest. Okay, that was a bit anticlimactic, wasn't it? Whoa, mm. hang on a minute, there's just a little pop up there. Mm. I was miles away then. <laughs> go, 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 go. What the hell? Oh, it was a lily pad. Right, anyway. So. That's enough of that. Ugh, pardon me while I throw up somewhere. I'm only joking. <laughs> I'll throw up here. Okay then, so that was uh, Hugo. The quest uh, for the Sunstones. What an absolutely fabulous game it wasn't. Two of these have sold, actually. I'll be honest with you. <sighs> so, next up we've got Hugo. It's just called Hugo. But it's not, because you look on the side, it says Hugo and the Black Diamond Fever. Can't read that, can you? Because it's not focusing on it. Black Diamond Fever. There you go. Story of this one is, to be fair, the languages on the back start off as like Danish, then Finnish, and then uh, English. So it's obviously a big thing up in the uh, high parts of Europe. Uh, Skillia, the witch, is back again. And this time she has in her possession the formula for supreme evil. Uh-oh. She needs the rare black diamonds for a formula. And they're only to be found in the jungle island where the Kikulus live. Nice. With Don Croco's help, she captures all the wretched clickers and forces them to toil in the mines day and night. Can Hugo help Kikulus and stop Skilia before it's too late? It's all up to you in this new game. Packed with cool gameplay great graphics, action and adventure, so it's going to be better than the last one, which had none of them things. Probably. And look, I knew one of them had this in. That there is a list of all the levels, I assume. Someone's carefully written down. That's cool, that. I like that kind of thing, you know, thing. I do. I do like a thing like that and that and thing. So there's the disc. 
Where is it? There it is. I'll show it on that one up there. It's easier, isn't it? There you go. There's the disc. It's lovely. It's a nice disc. When you die, I'm imagining they'll just play the window shutting down music. <laughs> Do they still have music for shutting down windows? I'm not exactly sure anymore. Well, I'm going to assume they lose forever. Well, that went well. Right, turn this on. Let's turn it on and see what happens here on the best ever TV show. And there's your white day of morning, or at least we can. I don't think they would be even in my own family, I'll be honest with you. Be a more case of thank he's gone. Safe to say it's ITE Media. ITE Media. See, so there you go again. So English is at the bottom. Kind of shows the market for this place. Had one like as well. Thank you, whoever liked it. Oh. Never read my candlelight, it ruins your eyes. Says me having played games for over 30 odd years and I'm blind as a bat. Start a new game, enter level card options. Difficulty level, easy, because I'm rubbish at these games. Dearest Hugo. Last time you brought peace back to Volcano Island, and we're deeply grateful for that. For a long time we were happy and delighted. Then I thought peace had come to stay, but I couldn't have been more mistaken. Why was his hand given a shadow when there was a table in the way Scala, and the table didn't have Don a shadow? Kroko and their soldiers returned and chained my people. Scholar has enslaved the entire Kikurian village. Day and night she makes them toil in her diamond mine to find those black diamonds she needs to make her elixir. Unfortunately, Scholar has found the formula for supreme evil. Supreme evil? If she succeeds in producing the extract from it's the black Facebook. diamonds, one single drop would be enough to make her the cruelest witch of all. Nice chopper. <laughs> Two can play at this game. I'm imprisoned in a cell and unable to help my people. Oh no. There's absolutely no. Trolls are clearly big thinking. Nordic culture. Yeah, oh, we're in our plane again. It's the uh, transsexual train this, uh, plane this time. Oh, we're on our own. Palm Beach, Arizona. It turns the analog off this game for some bizarre reason. What the hell? Is that jumping through the... That's jumping through this. What the hell is that? Well, I'll be honest with you, the gameplay is much better than the previous game. No, oh, okay then. <laughs> We've got hearts now, which is better as well, I suppose. Oh, and they only take one hit, which is better. Oh. Crawl underneath the bat thing. Because I'm a genius! Just a games player. I'm not really, and I never claimed to be. Although I did then, but that was a joke. Oh. Mm. Well, 
Look at that full health. Even though he's a troll, he's got a full health. That was an elf joke then. So you've had a toucan joke and an elf joke. What do you want from life? one of these codes. This is the only one I've got the codes for. So, enter level code. We'll go for the bottom one, because the bottom one looks fun. So we've got square, circle, square, triangle, circle, triangle, cross, triangle, triangle, circle, circle, X. So thanks kid. Select level. Oh. Get away. So we can go all the way to the end of the game. Yes. Yes. Come on. Oh. Come on. Uh, madam. Not now, Croco. Spoilers, he obviously oh, completed Hugo. his mission. Oh, I thought I'd never see you. Oh, but listen, we're almost out of time. We must hurry. So come on. Oh, here it comes. <laughs> there it is. Come to Mama, my little baby. <laughs> Look, Hugo. What? Where? Look, Madam. I drop. Ha! We foiled her. Nice chopper and a toucan joke in the same breath. Yeah, well, what can I say? Alright, okay. Oh no! Right, so this is basically... Any, any reference to Crash Bandicoot here is completely coincidental. Is we've got a boulder chasing us. I don't want to hear that, do I? Oh no! Oh no! Oh no, I'm deaded. Anyway, I can't take much more excitement. And relax. Sorry, it's too much tension for me. I can't cope with it. Anyway, thanks to whoever uh, wrote that down. Greatly appreciated. I keep these things in the actual uh, manuals as well. So when I sell the game, it's still there. So whoever buys it wants to use that, then they can do. I mean, I know it's cheating technically, but someone's gone to the effort of writing it down and earning it. So who am I to uh, put that in recycling? So next up, we have got... Hugo, the evil, 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 evil. So you have to say it. Evil, 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 evil. The evil mirror. Kind of loses something in translation. Uh, English first this time. Scalia, the wicked witch, has used her magical powers to capture Hugo in a mirror. Oh yeah, we've done all that. Oh no, we haven't. Uh, it's three children. Uh, Trollerat, Trollerat and Trollerut must set him free. Scalia has broken the mirror into three pieces and spread them into the forest steps of Tricky fo Troll Forest. To break the spell, each of the young trolls must recover a piece of the mirror and put it back together again so that Hugo can become a free troll again. So we're not playing Hugo this time. Oops, I just dropped my instruction booklet on my lap, which is a bit weird because I have shorts on and that was cold. Mind you, never mind, I'm not buying this game, so I'll never have to put it with my... Yeah, anyway, press play. If in doubt, press play. 
Why did Toucan stop using this plot his phone? He got a large bill. Where? Hey! See what you did there, you did a joke about chickens. This is way too tight on my neck as well, it's really irritating. We know who's made by. Now he just tapped on that and it was glass. But it's a plastic screen. Why was Polish second? That's a lovely story. I like a lovely story. Without Hugolina around, my beauty will quickly fade. But first I need to get Hugo out of the way. What are you doing, you great... Fury. I've got it! You can take some uh, cream and uh, a tablet. I've seen it on the uh, telly advertised. It's very good for thrush. Well, the police be about ready. All we need now is you can leave it with the wild berries. Mm. I hope I'm not spoiled. Nice family mood, am I? <laughs> Get out of my house, sinner. You know you're not welcome. Oh, no. oh. Daddy. Oh. Dear little troll. Oh, so clever. Caught in the mirror's embrace. You'll disappear without trace. Be gone for now. Be gone. See, now, where she slipped up here is the fact that. Now I just need to find Yugalina. Well, you've told the kids where. Oh, we better put the mirror back again and save Daddy. But you've not killed the kids. You need to kill the kids. It might sound harsh, but it's true. Play trolley writ. Okay, this is different. Welcome to the toughest race of the year, with the wildest pigs controlled by those most fearless Vikings. And we have an outside challenger amongst us. <laughs> this childish effort is a complete mystery to us, but it can hardly affect the race. In which the first prize is this glass picture. As usual, we have our reigning champion for the past ten years with the great Joel Harrison. And this year is also the favourite. And pulling the sleds, we have well. wild pigs that have been fed or oh, summer okay. and wrong. And now I'm the starter's orders for this merciless race. And then... Oh. oh, for sake. Right. not as easy as it looks, I'll be honest with you. Mind you, we are an ice, I suppose.
worse. I, I, I switched from the analog to the other one then, and that was worse. Girl era, wasn't it? I mean, you know, it's like the Bond, vi uh, the Bond villains, they catch Bond and rather putting a bullet in his head and have a done with it. They, they call this elaborate scheme to kill him using lasers or piranhas or sharks or uh, lava or something. Looks we're doing slightly better now. Oh yeah, we can see the other guy, or one of them anyway. We're doing so badly on this. I'm that slow the music stopped. Was it playing like English country folk music when we're obviously in the uh, a long way away from that? second place now. We're not going to win this. Because I can't control this at all. It's literally like driving on night own. You can remember what I've uh, what I've collected and not collected, but that's quite impressive, to be honest. Concentrate and I've gone quiet. I do apologise. I have to admit, though, although this is completely uncontrollable, this wins as the most playable Hugo game out of these three. Sled at the back is actually giving me some more uh, issues than I anticipated. Why is there a clock timer coming up? So, where's the leader? boost on this but I don't think there is a boost and if I did use a boost it'd just ply me into a snowdrift. Oh there's the leader. Okay. It must be as bad as me. Throw on the inside. I will spend the rest of the night completely uh, in the nuddy. Sorry for you guys, you won't see it. They're still behind me, I can hear him, so I need to... I need to stay on the track. Not go off the track. Oh. 
No, 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 no. I don't know if you do so badly. Yeah, been leaving the race. I know I won't win it, because something happens at the end that will make him win it, and then that's part of the story or something. Because otherwise it's going to be the shortest game ever. You have one race, you win a part of the mirror, the other two kids do whatever they do, they win the other part of the mirror, and then Hugo comes back and it's... So, the question was set earlier on, which is the best game of these games, which are all rubbish, and I'd have to say, apart from being a bit confused and dangerous, to say that them two which is uh, Diamond Fever and Quest for the Sunstorm were a bit pants and Hugo the Evil Mirror was pants but less pants but still pants but the best out of the ones out of the ones that we did so uh, congratulations thank you very much for watching if indeed you still are um, <laughs> that was a bit bizarre I shall be back possibly later if not tomorrow and we will do some more game playing retro game playing here on Chucky TV where's my Chucky TV logo oh it is there, that's alright then uh, until next time take care, thank you Mark Gibbs thank you Flanky, Flanky. Frankie Sat Slattery thanks Tough TV Ugh, get my new teeth broken in uh, Biohazard Killer 66 Gaming and HJ Copeland 31. You're all superstars. And I will see you again at some point in the future. Au revoir.